TDS has one tower that has 20 hours of grinding, which is Accelerator. He's basically a Ghostbuster and actually has a Ghostbuster skin. There is one question. Is he still good since he came out? Well, first, he's a very expensive tower. So you can't use him for start game, unlike Warden. But he does make up with it for amazing stats and can easily fresh all molds and towers. In 2020, he used to be way cheaper and a touch better with hidden detection at level 0, but now he's 4,250 money, but before he was only 3,500. And he does not get hidden detection until level 1, but everything can't be perfect. Fallen is the hardest mode at the moment, with the Fallen King with, with 150,000 HP, but it's not just him. That is hard, is all the others. Because I cannot play TDS with just Accelerator, I need a start game tower, so I use Crook Boss. I was going to instantly die. I quickly found out Crook Boss was not the best, so I placed an Accelerator, then removed the Crook Boss on wave 12 with just 92 HP. On wave 13, I encountered my first shadows, which were just hidden, but I handled it well. On wave 25, I encountered a Fallen, which were easy, but then I found my first giant boss, which was easy, a bit too easy. On wave 26, I found glitches, but I handled it well. Wave 28, hazmats. On wave 30, a tank, which I thought was going to kill me, but it did not. Wave 35, I found an A posing warden, which was funny. Wave 39, a necromancer box got past and killed me one wave away from the Fallen King. You can still win Molten Hell over, it's just probably I'm bad at TDS. And I can't win Fallen probably, like you could probably just like make the win. So the recording was bug, and that's why um Yeah, the video was just like stock images and I have school and homework, so I have no time to do it at all. That's why there are no Fallen videos. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Good night, because I know you're up at 12am on your iPad. Good night.